Namaskar everyone. This is Shubham Alok. Welcome to my channel. And today I am going to talk about a very, very, very special topic, very close to my heart. These are special houses from planets. How they work, how they behave, and what to do with them. You have to get ready with a notebook, right? As I am telling you, you should note it, right? There are four set of houses from every planet that I am going to discuss today in this particular video. And these houses are very, very important, right? Starting from Sun to Saturn, Sun, Moon, Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, Venus, Saturn, I will tell you about a set of houses and how they behave and about a planet and how that planet behaves. Now, what you have to do is you have to mark that particular house from the position of a planet. And you have to check the planet, which I will name, which house the planet is situated in and the planets, the particular planet is conjoined with and have to read the result. These results are also applicable in Dasha and Dasha. And they can also be used in analysis. I will try to explain the result as clearly as possible. Okay, so let's start. The first set of house is that particular house where the result of planet will not fall. Whatever be the result of planet, be it a good result or be it a bad result, this will not fall. Now, for a particular example, to say, first of all, let me tell you the list. The result of sun does not fall on the sixth house from sun. The result of Venus does not fall on the second house from Venus. The result of moon does not fall on the seventh house from moon. The result of Mars does not fall on the second house from Mars. The result of Mercury does not fall on second house from Mercury. And the result of Saturn does not fall on third house from Saturn. Now the point is Saturn also have his third aspect. Now what I am saying is that the result does not fall over these houses. So say Saturn is a good planet. Saturn is the ninth lord, tenth lord, that is uh, powerful also. So see, for this particular analysis, you will see planet being exalted, etc., exalted on Rashi, etc., as powerful. Debilitated inimical Rashi, etc., as weak. And now see, this Saturn is the lord of the ninth house and tenth house. It becomes Raji Yoga. Okay. Now this Saturn is powerful. Okay. So now this Saturn being Rajio Karak and being powerful, he should give good result. He should give good result related to the house he is situated in. He should give good result related to the house he is expecting. And basically for all the 12 houses of horoscope, this should give some result or the other result. This is the basic crux of astrology. If Saturn is situated in the second house, it is in the second house from the ascendant, it is in the 12th house, sorry, it is in the second house, 12th house from the third house, 11th house from the fourth house, 10th house from the fifth house, 5th house from the sixth house, 8th house from the seventh house, 7th house from the eighth house, 6th house from the ninth house, 5th house from the 10th house, 4th house from the 11th house, and 12th house from the so the third house from the 12th house, right? This is the basic case. Now, the planet is supposed to give, for an example, exalted Saturn situated in the second house. Now, from the ninth house, this is an exalted planet in the sixth house. Now, because this Saturn, you say, is also the fifth lord, ninth lord, tenth lord, fourth lord kind of a scenario, then being in the sixth house of increase, expansion from the ninth house of father, the father of such native should do high progress. Right? Coming from the 11th house, going to the 11th house, speaking from the 11th house, 
this saturn is in the fourth house fourth house indicates happiness saturn is powerful there so happiness of income happiness of gain happiness that comes from fulfillment of wishes and desires should not be there because saturn in the fourth house is bad for happiness and fulfillment etc right so a particular planet impacts other houses also but not these houses right so whatever be the condition of saturn if saturn is good the good result is not felt in third house from saturn if saturn is bad the good result is not felt on the third house from saturn despite the fact that saturn will have an aspect here for the same purpose if you have a debilitated combust venus in the 6th house then venus despite being the significator of relationship under high affliction he should create much problems in relationship but if this venus happens to be in a 6th house because second house from venus is immune from the results of whatever the good or bad result of venus because second house from venus is immune from that particular result for this reason venus in the 6th house highly afflicted does not create problem in marital life because if venus is situated in the 6th house 7th house will be the second house from venus where the bad result of venus will not fall on the other hand if in the 6th house venus is in a very good condition exalted venus in 6th house or got venus in 6th house venus under benefic influence in the 6th house then in that scenario the good result of venus is not felt in marriage despite the fact that venus is significator of marriage when venus is situated in the 6th house because second house from venus where the result of venus should not fall is the 7th house the area of right now another set venus for saturn moon for venus saturn for jupiter moon also for mercury sun for mars venus for moon and saturn for sun are the planets which make the house where they are situated immune to the result of the planet okay i know a horoscope where moon is situated in the 7th house okay and venus is in own rashi in libra that is also varaguttam so the significator of marriage venus is in own house and is also varaguttam this should give him good marriage but his marital life is very pathetic why because moon is situated in the 7th house and whichever house moon is situated in the result of venus and the result of mercury is not felt with regard to that house whichever house venus is situated in the result of saturn and moon is not felt regarding that house whichever house sun is situated in the result of mars is not felt regarded to that house and whichever house saturn is situated in the result of sun whether good or bad is not felt in that in the matter of that particular house now <clears throat> there is one more uses about it sixth from sun sixth from jupiter second from mars second from mercury second from venus third from saturn and seventh from moon if there is a powerful auspicious strong planet then this planet will give you high career growth in career good income favor from government good education good upbringing all types of comforts including pleasure enjoyment and power <clears throat> right if this planet situated in these particular houses from these planets also happen to be the friend of these planets then this particular result is even more even greatly enhanced right highly enhanced 
now saturn for sun the planet is saturn for moon the planet is venus for mars the planet is sun again for mercury the planet is moon for jupiter the planet is saturn for venus the planet is moon this for saturn the planet is venus so if there is a powerful planet situated with venus then that powerful planet will give name fame status position respect related to the matters of saturn if there is powerful planet with moon then that planet give brilliant result related to the matters of venus matters of venus means brilliant results in the matters of marriage brilliant result to spouse if venus also happens to be the ninth lord then good result to the father if venus also happens to be the fourth lord then good result to mother if venus happens to be the sixth lord then good results to maternal uncle if venus happens to be the fifth lord then good result to the child so on and so forth this is how it should be understood now second set of houses and planets these planets are you know like in, in lal kitab there is a concept of bali ka bakra god knows i don't want to talk bad about anything as i respect i respect the field of knowledge which people with low intellect can also resort to so not talking bad about it but yes sun if you are going to get the bad result of a planet which house will first get destroyed which house which planet will first get destroyed this you have to understand seventh house from sun ninth house from moon sixth house from mars fourth house from mercury fifth house from jupiter sixth house from venus and eleventh house from saturn are the houses which gives bad result before actual starting of bad result for the concerned planet so say saturn is afflicting the seventh house by being situated in the 10th house now when the bad result of saturn is about to come 11th house from saturn which is the 8th house will start facing bad result will start showing you bad traits you will get bad dreams you will get frightened you will get anxiety right bad activation of 8th house because saturn is situated in the 10th house and from 10th house 11th house is 8th house bad result related to 8th house will be a sign that the result of saturn is going to get bad you know one i i just talked about one such formula in one of the videos where i told that if venus is going to get bad the ketu you will start suffering in the house related to ketu so one of my student from the parashar sutras course have brilliantly explained and elucidated el, uh, explored sorry for my pathetic english explored this particular point in a horoscope which was related to devos when the lady who gave the horoscope was explaining her situation so lady gave the horoscope to one of the student the student was explaining the condition she explained that after marriage the boy was not sleeping with the wife but in a stead was continued like you know one week one week post marriage he was still living with the wife but after that one day getting angry from his wife because of a small fight he started sleeping with his mother only and from here the problem started right and he brilliantly pointed it out that you know because of ketu being in the fourth house this indicated that because the result of venus is going to get bad it was indicated because moon is in the fourth house related to mother another student uh, also you know is like students have used this formula and it's quite working right and also proved by my experience of 12 years this particular principle that i am talking about coming to planet when saturn is going to give you bad result moon takes a hit 
when venus is going to give you bad result mercury takes a hit before before jupiter turns bad mars takes a hit before before mercury turns bad jupiter takes a hit before mars turns bad moon takes a hit before moon turns bad mars takes a hit before sun turns bad mars also takes a hit now understand this particular point that if there is a strong planet in 11th house from saturn 6th house from venus 5th house from jupiter 4th house from mercury 6th house from mars 9th house from moon and 7th house from sun then related to that planet one get result beyond expectation one get results of extremely high value and extremely high level provided the fact that person have done enough hard work related to that particular planet if the planet who is powerful in these houses also happens to be a friend of the planet under consideration say if the planet in 11th from saturn who is powerful in 11th from saturn also happens to be the friend of saturn then in the dasha antar dasha of this planet exceptionally brilliant result come to pass now the result of planet so you know what sun is situated in the 11th house okay sun will give you gain but will give you gain related to what 11th house sun will give you gain now for this particular matter you will check the house where uh, leo rashi falls okay that is the basic point so say leo is the third house and sun is in the 11th house so leo is the third house sun is in the 11th house sun is going to give you gains and gains related to siblings gains related to hard work etc but that's not enough there is one more house and there is one more planet which is activated so when sun starts giving good result whatever is the result of sun that result is according to the ninth house from sun and that result is according to jupiter so say ninth from sun is mars and sun is in the 11th house then sun will not only give like in the previous example itself it is the leo in the third house sun in the 11th house and ninth from sun that is the seventh house is having mars when the good result of sun will come when gains through the sun will come it will not be only gain through business gain through sibling etc but it will also be gain through mars so gain through leadership gain through engineer things related to engineering gains through litigation gains through fighting these things will also come to pass so whatever is the result of sun that result is in accordance to the rashi which falls in ninth to sun to the house which falls in ninth to sun to the planet which falls in ninth to sun and the result is also in accordance to the rashi and the planet conjoined with jupiter also whatever is the good or bad result of moon that result is according to the 11th house from moon planet in 11th house from moon rashi in 11th house from moon and the good or bad result of moon is also in accordance with the planet that is conjoined by sat that is also as per the house of saturn also as per the rashi is for mars whatever be the good result of mars that is good or bad result of the mars that is dominated by saturn and 11th house from mars good and bad result of mercury is dominated by 5th house from mercury and venus planet with venus the house where venus is going etc the good result of jupiter is influenced by seventh house from jupiter and by moon placement of moon the good influence of venus is influenced by sun and the 12th house from venus the good influence of saturn the good result of saturn is influenced by jupiter and the sixth house from saturn right so if you have a very good saturn in the ascendant then auspiciousness auspicies prosperity good result before even you succeed is felt by the maternal uncles because from the ascendant sixth house will be the sixth house which is maternal uncle 
right? Specifically, in this particular case, you have to be very careful that this planet, you know, this, whichever planet is in sixth to a good Saturn or bad to a good Saturn, the result of Saturn is happening according to that particular house, right? So a good Saturn in the ascendant makes you win over enemies and a bad Saturn in ascendant makes you defeated by enemies, right? Good result or bad result happens according to the sixth house. Because Saturn is in the ascendant, sixth house is natural sixth house, which indicates enemies, etc. But this result is good for you only. It is not good for your other relatives. So Saturn in the ascendant, which is influenced by the sixth house, looking from the perspective of the seventh house, this will become the twelfth house. So Saturn in the ascendant is good for the native. And if it is good for the native, it will be bad for the expenses of the spouse, 12th house from the 7th house, and bad for the finances of children also, 2nd house from the 5th house. Whereas if the Saturn in ascendant is bad for the native, in that case, it will be good for the expenses of spouse and for the wealth of child. So remember that if the planet is good, it is good for only for you. And if the planet is bad, then it is bad also only for you. Okay, this particular way it have to be understood. Getting my point? For an example, in the horoscope of Sri Ram, Saturn is situated in the fourth house. This Saturn situated in the fourth house, the bad result of Saturn in the fourth house, lack of happiness, loss of enjoyment, comforts, etc. happened to what is 6th from Saturn. Saturn in the 4th house, 6th from Saturn is ninth house. So lack of happiness, lack of mental comfort, etc. primarily happened to the father of Sri Ram, that was Dasarath. Right? This is how it works and it works very brilliantly. Just have to note it down as I already do. Now, if a planet is giving you a bad result, how you will break that bad result? For sun, and this is the most powerful remedy I can tell you, most powerful remedy that I can recommend you. And see, it is not like if you have a sun-related problem, you don't need pomegranate to someone in sun-related problem with get solved. Come on. What are you talking about? The problem that sun will create differs from horoscope to horoscope because of the Rashi, Navamsha, Nakshatra, Falana, Dimda placement of sun. Okay? This is true. Now, if the result of sun differs from horoscope to horoscope, then how can the remedy of sun is same for everyone? It should also differ. The problem is astrologers nowadays, because they have not learned from the parampara, don't do it. So let me tell you. The remedy of sun is done through Venus and the remedy of sun is done through the 11th house of sun. So say if sun is situated in the 6th house, 11th house from it will be the 4th house. So donation of land, 4th house. Donation of vehicle, 4th house. Donation to mother, 4th house. Will serve as a remedy to sun. Also, the, the remedy comes through sun. The remedy of sun comes through Venus. So the donation of woman will be good. Will serve as a remedy because Venus is... Venus indicates female or people of opposite gender, basically. right? But that is constant for everyone. Now, suppose in the horoscope, sun is in the sixth house and Venus goes to the ninth house. Then for this person, remedy for sun will come through visiting temple, donating to temple, uh, donating to government, donating to government employees, etc. Right? So a planetary result differs from horoscope to horoscope. So is the remedy. For moon, the remedy is done through sun, the house placement of sun, Rashi, uh, the house placement of sun, conjunction of sun, 
and the remedy of moon should be found from the third house from moon for mars the remedy of mars is done through mercury and 12th house of mars the remedy of mercury is done through mars and third house from mercury the remedy of jupiter is done through sun and 12th house of jupiter the remedy of venus is done through saturn and 4th house from venus the remedy of saturn is done through mars and 7th house of saturn so if you have saturn in ascendant then that is giving you a problem seventh house from saturn will be the seventh house that is to play an instrumental role in marriage of someone to donate to someone who is about to get married to financially emotionally physically help in kanya daan getting married will be the remedy for sun saturn in the ascendant now for everyone having saturn in the ascendant can they do the same remedy no you also have to check the rashi position of mars the aspect of mars and the house position of mars to decode the remedy of saturn that should be recommended to this particular person right and on these houses on these remedy houses which i have told for planet if there is another powerful planet who is virgo uttam swarashi exalted etc then that particular planet in his dasha antar dasha and through his significations can present you can will present you with chances to settle to foreign lands travel to foreign lands and will open the doors to enjoyment success fulfillment related to the particular planet these are the remedies that i you know like my clients generally drop me a message you have given us such a wonderful remedy we could not even imagine that such remedies are there it is cannot be believed right so why they cannot believe it why these remedies work so brilliantly and miraculously because i don't believe in giving a common remedy for everything right so this is these houses have to be properly analyzed before giving a remedy this these houses have to be properly analyzed before telling the result of the planet right and without analyzing these houses telling the result is not possible at all one more point i will tell you planet in sixth from saturn will resist the result of saturn planet in 6th from saturn works very inimically for saturn planet in 6th from saturn tends to destroy the result of saturn planet in 4th from venus destroys the result of venus planet in 6th from jupiter destroys the result of jupiter planet in 3rd from mercury destroys the result of mercury planet in 12th to mars destroys the result of mars planet in 12th to moon destroys the result of moon and planet in 6th suit sun destroys the result of sun so to say moon, planet in 12th to moon destroys the result of moon now suppose 12th to moon is venus then it is spouse and marriage which will destroy the result of moon that will destroy the mental happiness peace mental stability etc in this particular scenario you have to make sure that you do proper remedies get married in a good muhurta uh, do proper match making otherwise good life and pathetic life is just one event away right i hope that you people have understood the formula very clearly i am not taking any example for the sake of keeping the video under time limit right but i have tested it profoundly you should also test it these formulas work very brilliantly the only thing that is needed is that you understand them properly i hope that you have uh, jotted down all the houses that i have mentioned if not then please watch the video again watch the video enjoyed the technique all these techniques and this type of many research based techniques and formulas are being taught in my forthcoming course mastering the graha which is a 11 class course covering all the planets from sun to saturn and having two special classes on 
Chandra Kundali, the moon horoscope, and Surya Kundali, the sun horoscope. If you want to deeply understand the planets and make predictions like a professional astrologer through a horoscope, join that particular course, Mastering the Graha. And all these techniques which I have discussed in this video, have discussed in the previous videos of the planetary series, will be covered there. Thanks a lot.